Okay, so that brings me to the end of my final point. I have talked about features of intelligent buildings, using the study by Clement Coombe as an illustration. I then move on to discuss the advantages、uh, of intelligent buildings and use the study by Chen and Lam and 2010 to demonstrate the lower running costs and the、uh, research by Lam and Preston in 2005 to show the better environment. Uh, that can be created. So now it's time to hand you over to Caleb, who will discuss the drawbacks. Caleb. Yes. Thanks, Polly. So I'm Caleb, and I'm going to talk about three disadvantages of intelligent buildings. First, the high construction costs, and then the need for care and the need for careful management. And third, the technical problems that might occur. After that, I will look at the issue of intelligent buildings in Hong Kong before finishing with a short conclusion. Finally, we will have the Q and A session where when you will be free to ask questions. Okay. So turning to my first drawback of intelligent using the high construction costs, I think here. The study by Morrison and Roberts is most useful. They compared the cost of building a conventional office buildings with intelligent office in two North America and two European cities. As you can see from the bar chart, 